so hello everyone today is uh, our discussion topic is on uh, sulfur containing amino acid metabolism so we'll have a revision on sulfur containing amino acid metabolism so for mbbs kuhs has been asked only two questions from sulfur containing amino acid so far that is mention three examples of transmethylation reactions which carries for three marks and active methionine i think that also for three or two mark only but other possible questions from this sulfur containing amino acids are even one essay can come from this session usually uh, you know that paper one usually have on paper one either paper one or paper two have one clinical case essay and one uh, either uh, like a normal essays like either cycle or pathways or something like that in either way uh, it can be even as the say as an essay like uh, define transmethylation discuss the synthesis and functions and catabolism of amino acids involved in transmethylation reactions and disorders associated with its metabolism actually this question out of 10 mark has already been asked for dental students so it may even ask for you and even this can be asked as a clinical based question you know that sulfur containing amino acid uh, contains multiple uh, inborn of metabolism uh, for example homocysteurias and cystinuria cystinosis etc so uh, even they can give the symptoms of homocystinuria uh, suppose like a patient comes uh, with a presentation patient like baby comes with a presentation like a, uh, charlie chaplin gait then um, subluxation of lens so and so if they are giving such kind of clues in your case and the associated question may be like this only sulfur containing amino acid metabolism transmethylation so and so can be asked so that also you have to be ready with so if you know the this as a question you will be able to write all those answers associated with the sulfur containing amino acid metabolism and also transmethylation reactions for 5 mark or 4 mark or something can be asked so there are three sulfur containing amino acids ethionine cysteine cysteine and cysteine these three are the sulfur containing amino acids among this the methionine is an essential amino acid whereas cysteine and cysteine are non essential amino acid so from methionine these cysteine and cysteine can be synthesized along with the help of other other non essential amino acid serine so the methionine will be catabolized or metabolized by two mechanism transfer of methyl group of methionine by transmethylation reaction second the conversion of demethylated portion of the methionine that is acetonosyl homocysteine to cysteine and cysteine the definition for transmethylation is transfer of methyl group from methionine to an acceptor molecule and this process is known as transmethylation so the methyl group of methionine becomes available for transmethylation only in an active form that is actually s adenosyl methionine so the synthesis of s adenosyl methionine done with the help of two things one is the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase with the hydrolysis of atp molecule so the adenosyl group from the atp will be transferred to the methionine and the active methionine or s adenosyl methionine synthesis occurs so here the methyl group of active methionine sam is very active and can be enzymatically transferred in synthesis of multiple compounds so there are so many example for the transmethylation reaction this is the general reaction of transmethylation reaction sam will donate its methyl group to the acceptor and itself become a methylated product and sam will be converted into s adenosyl homocysteine that is sa h so these are the examples of transmethylation reaction so many example have been given guanido acetate to creatinine so wherever it is you are supposed to write it as an equation or reaction in that you can write sam to sah guanido acetate accepts it methyl group itself will be converted into creatinine so no no epinephrine to epinephrine epinephrine to meta epinephrine ethanolamine to choline so on so all these are the examples for transmethylation reaction now the significance of transmethylation so many compounds become functionally active after methylation and 
protein methylation specifically the amino acid residues methylation helps to control the protein turnover and methylation protects the protein from immediate degradation that we are learning in transcription translation etc post transcription and post translational modification and in plants sam that is acetylenosine methionine is a precursor for the synthesis of plant hormone ethylene so this is all about transmethylation so if the question comes as transmethylation for five mark with the example you are supposed to write these many points now the second part which explains the metabolism of sulfur containing amino acid or what happens with this demethylated portion of methionine that is acetylenosyl homocysteine this the fate of this acetylenosyl homocysteine is that it will finally converted into cysteine and cysteine so this much portion we have already been expressed um, explained along with the transmethylation reaction now the second part what will happen this s adenosine homocysteine what will happen hydrolytic cleavage of this sh occurs with the concomitant production of homocysteine and adenosine hydrolytic cleavage that means a water molecule inserted and with the enzyme here it is adenosyl homocysteinase and the product is products are homocysteine and adenosine and this homocysteine has a another fate that which which will be utilized for the resynthesis of methionine that will be explained later now the next part is that homocysteine then condenses with another amino acid that is serine molecule to form cystathione with the help of enzyme cystathione beta synthase enzyme further what will happen hydrolytic cleavage of cystathione leads to the formation of homocysteine plus cysteine by the enzyme cystathione lyase cysteine and homocysteine and what will happen and this requires a coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate clear now the cysteine may be oxidized to cysteine you can see cysteine will be oxidized to cysteine or homocysteine which undergoing a deamination reaction by homocysteine deaminase to form alpha keto butyrate then alpha keto butyrate undergoing oxidative decarboxylation to form propionyl coenzyme a which is catabolized by through the methyl malonyl coenzyme to succinyl coenzyme and finally which will be entering into tca cycle this is the overall fate of methionine so we have seen that transmethylation reaction we have seen then from demethylated methionine how the another two sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and cysteine synthesized will be also explained now the another part is that we have to explain the metabolism of this cysteine and cysteine so in previously we have seen the synthesis of cysteine and cysteine from methionine now we have to discuss in detail about the metabolism or catabolism of these cysteine so the cysteine which is a nutritional non essential glucogenic amino acid and it is synthesized from two amino acids we have seen that methionine and serine molecule okay now in that pathway itself we have seen that cysteine undergoing reduction to form cysteine which is a reversible reaction here also which will happen the major catabolic fate of cysteine is conversion of cysteine to cysteine to cysteine and the reaction is catalyzed by the cysteine reductase enzyme in previous figure which was shown now the catabolism of cysteine occurs or cysteine can be catabolized by two route by first first one is transamination reaction second one direct oxidative pathway so the transamination pathway you can see there the this is a first pathway transamination pathway cysteine undergoing transamination with the help of cysteine transaminase enzyme and the amino group will be accepted by, accepted by alpha keto glutarate and itself will be converted into as a new amino acid as glutamic acid and new keto acid as beta mercaptan pyruvate and this beta mercaptan pyruvate then undergoes desulfuration desulfuration by enzyme sulfur transferase enzyme to form the keto keto sugar as pyruvate keto substance as pyruvate and the sulfur is eliminated in the form of hydrogen sulfide this hydrogen sulfide is reduced by along with the help of reduced glutathione which will be reduced or converted into 
sulfide then immediately it converted into sulfide and then to sulfate and this sulfate formed by in this manner can be excreted in urine or converted into active sulfate that is PAPS PAPS is phosphodinosyl phosphosulfate by using ATP and PAPS which is a source of sulfur in the synthesis of other uh, biomolecules like glycolipids sulfolipids etc and or either in the form of sulfate itself can be excreted through the urine or it will be converted as phosphodinosyl phosphosulfate or active sulfate molecule that is the transamination pathway and the second pathway is that this is direct oxidative pathway here the cysteine is oxidized to cysteine cysteine sulfinate you can see cysteine is oxidized to cysteine sulfinate with the help of enzyme cysteine dioxygenase then which will be decarboxylated to hypotaurin decarboxylated hypotaurin which further oxidized to taurine that is one fleet or else what can happen this cysteine sulfinate can conjugate sorry yeah cysteine sulfinate may undergo transamination and give rise to sulfate finally sulfate and sulfate can be converted into active sulfate so this is overall fate of cysteine through the transamination pathway and direct oxidation pathway now the major metabolic functions of cysteine is that it leads to the formation of glutathione and has some role in amino acid transport through meester cycle then coenzyme role then rbc membrane integrity with the formation of glutathione and met hemoglobin synthesis conjugation for detoxification activation of enzyme formation of taurine keeping the correct structure of protein all these are the functions of cysteine now the indone others associated with the sulfur containing amino acids are cysteinuria cysteinemia and homocysteinuria so the cysteinuria is actually occurs due to defect in renal reabsorptive mechanism for four amino acid that is cysteine ornithine arginine and lysine short form you can write as called c for cysteine o for ornithine a for arginine and l for lysine so the defect in renal reabsorption of these four amino acid which leads to a specific condition that is known as cysteinuria where there will be excretion of all these amino acid occurs excretion of cysteine up to 30 times occurs then <coughs> this cysteine it forms an insoluble crystal in the urinary tract and it leads to the formation of renal calculi and it leads to cystinuria which is usually a benign anomaly then cystinosis cystinosis a cystine storage disease where there will be accumulation of cystine occurs in fluids so it is a rare lysosomal disorder here the defect is that defective carrier mediated transport system of cystine cystine crystals are deposited in tissues and organs specifically the reticuloendothelial system and it leads to specifically generalized amino aciduria and renal function will be getting impaired patient may die young from acute renal failure that is cystinosis and now the most important inborn error of metabolism associated with the sulfur containing amino acid is homocystinuria it is the disorder of methionine metabolism with high blood and urine levels of homocysteine and methionine there are multiple types of homocysteinuria but the major one is due to the deficiency of cysteine in beta synthase enzyme so where there will be accumulation of homocysteine in blood occurs symptoms of this homocysteinuria are usually the patient may develop mental retardation and a specific gait that is known as charlie chaplin gait due to skeletal deformities in eyes it may leads to ectopia lentis that is subluxation of lens myopia and glaucoma and homocysteine causes activation of hackman's factor so that may be the reason for myocardial infection this may leads to impaired platelet adhesion 
adhesiveness and life threatening intravascular thrombosis with the diagnosis for homocystinuria cyanide nitroprusside test will be positive in urine urinary excretion of homocystine will be more than 300 mg per deciliter sorry mg per 24 hours plasma homocystine and methionine levels are increased treatment the patient should take diet with low methionine and rich in cysteine sometimes the other reason the affinity of apo enzyme to the coenzyme is reduced that is why it is mandatory to supply with the pyridoxal phosphate the coenzyme even in large quantities will correct the defect thank you this is all about the answers for two question first one the sulfur containing amino acid metabolism overload for the 10 mark and transmethylation reactions thank you